Amy, what is our first main topic today? Our first main topic comes to us from Kyle. Hey, y'all. So I just saw an article saying Sony is removing certain digital movies you bought in some areas like Germany, for instance. What irks me is last year when Sony disabled the ability to purchase digital movies from their store, they promised that any already bought content will not be removed. I get these purchases are essentially extended rentals, but shouldn't Sony keep to their word here? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Kyle. And there is an ongoing discussion in the world of film fandom about physical media. The indisputable thing is that physical media is going away. I mean, that's indisputable. The facts are there. All you got to do is look at the statistics. Robert Meyer Burnett will be the first one to tell you physical media is disappearing. But the second part of that discussion is, should it disappear? I mean, it is. It doesn't matter how we feel about it. But should it disappear? Now, I am a digital media guy. I actually abandoned physical media many years ago. Um, I just found that, number one, the ability to have full access to my entire movie library on any device, any phone, any neighbor's house or friend's house I'm visiting at any time I want, just at a click, my entire movie collection is right there. Way too convenient. Also, the fact that it doesn't take up any physical space. And it's since I've discarded physical media personally, I've moved four times not having to move all those discs and not to mention over the years discs go missing every everybody who's who I, i've presented says oh no i've never lost a dvd liar that's like saying i've never masturbated yes you have <laughs> you lie you have gone had dvds the gone missing you made right there oh <laughs> i mean it's like oh, one the, and the same the amount of times though i've opened like fight club and been like why is Bugs life in here. Yes, yeah. Right? F friends borrow them, mm -hmm. whatever. So you can tell me physical media doesn't go disappearing. It absolutely does. And then. No, no comment on the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I plead the fifth. But, and then, you know, Rob will be the first one to tell you as well. Rob has like the most impressive physical media collection like ever. But he'll tell you, oh, yeah, probably about three quarters of my physical media collection I've never actually put into a player and watched. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's just kind of sitting there, taking the space, whatever. That's my thing. But. One of the big counter arguments about physical media and the pros of physical media over digital, besides the fact that as of right now, it is changing, but as of right now, you can get a better, clearer picture and image with, with uh, physical media than you can digital, although that is changing. That is starting to change. But one of the other big ones is this. If you own all your movies on digital, well, you don't actually have a lot of control over it. What happens if your digital movie service that you use, poof, disappears. What happens to your movies? Now, that has been kind of a, a false argument based on a hypothetical. But as alluded to by our viewer, it's starting to become a little bit tangible because in Germany and Austria, I believe, PlayStation... If you are a PlayStation user out there and you bought a couple of movies from Studio Canal, now this is getting very specific. If you live in those countries and you're on PlayStation and you bought movies that were Studio Canal things, you're going to be losing access to those. Uh, this comes to us from the folks at Variety who wrote the following. The move comes a year, because PlayStation is now removing these, the move comes a year after Sony PlayStation Group stopped offering movie and TV show purchases and rentals as of August 31st, 2021, citing the rise of streaming video services. At the time, Sony assured customers that they can still access movie and TV content they have purchased through so Sony PlayStation Store for on-demand playback on their PS4, PS5, and mobile devices. But clearly, that didn't mean forever. It's unclear whether PlayStation Store will refund customers for their purchases of movies that will no longer be available. A Sony rep declined to provide any details about that. Studio Canal reps for the German Austria region had not responded to a request for comment. All right. So first thing here is let's keep this in context. This is a very finite issue. It is about PlayStation movie owners in Germany or Austria regarding Studio Canal films. Now, there are some significant ones there. <clears throat> Number one, what should happen here? Here's what should happen. Now, I can't remember the name of the service, but it was last year another movie providing service kind of shut down. But what they did when they shut down was they allowed your movie collection to be transferred to another service, and I didn't lose any of the movies that I had. Great. So what should happen here with this PlayStation thing 
is that Studio Canal and PlayStation have to come to some kind of agreement to say, hey, listen, people bought these movies in good faith. If they can't be provided for, if we can't work out our licensing agreement with each other, we've got to provide these customers who paid us money in good faith with a way of still accessing their content, even if it's not on PlayStation. Say, hey, hey, no problem. Can't get on PlayStation more, but we made a deal with Movies Anywhere. You can still access all your purchased movie. That is absolutely what they should do. What they should not do, what must not be allowed to happen, is PlayStation just to go, oh, well, too bad. That they should not be able to do. And I've got to believe that Sony, not only morally and ethically, will do that. I have to believe there's legislation that is going to require them to do that. So I think it's it's interesting that Variety said, hey, they're not saying they're not going to transfer it to other places. We just don't have any word on that right now. So that's interesting to see. Look, as Amy, as a digital movie guy, this is concerning to me. Mm -hmm. it, it is. Again, it's very isolated. It's very localized. And I don't want to get into a slippery slope argument because those are useless. But still, I mean, that is worrisome. That is the manifestation about what some hardcore physical media people are saying. You know, one of these days, they're going to come like a thief in the night and take your movies away. So, I mean, I got to believe at some point Sony transferred this over. Anyway, you see the situation. What stands out to you about this? I mean, I am definitely more of a physical copy kind of person. And, and I think this... This sort of thing is exactly the anxiety. Like I have a bit of a weird anxiety about like, I don't want my movie to exist. You know, I'm not great with text. So I'm like in the cloud. I don't know. Where is it? What are they going to do with it? But, um, you know, even talking about they're going to make this right. They're going to refund it. Let's be honest. Most people don't read past the headlines on something like this. And this could be on. I'm, I'm aware digital movies are going to continue to become the wave. I don't think this is going to stop it from happening, but I think it could slow it down just a little bit. Just a few knocks like this make people think over and over again of, well, if I really love a movie, I don't want to pay 20 bucks for it and lose it. Because again, even if they fix this, a lot of times people are seeing this headline and going, oh, so I don't even own my movie. And that's what their takeaway is going to be because right. they're not reading that fine print. They're not reading the follow up article. They're not going, well, let's let's wait and see what PlayStation does about this. So I, I think for a lot of people who are on the fence about that or who are more interested in owning a hard copy of something, this is going to, you know, just <laughs> solidify those beliefs a little stronger. Yeah. Now, for me, and the, I'm only talking about myself, this is only my case scenario. I have probably, prior to divesting myself of my physical media, I had probably lost 15 to 25 movies over the course of, I mean, granted, I collected a lot of movies, mm -hmm. but so I'd probably lost 15 to 20 movies. In the nearly decade I've been collecting my movies digitally, I haven't lost one. I never lost one. I never had to go to a store to buy them. I never had to find a physical place to put them. And for every one, but Disney blurred out the bare ass in Splash. Really? That, that's supposed to be the big concern to me right now? Again, you, then you can get into slippery slope arguments, yeah. but still. So, again, I'm not going to get too worried about it. But again, as a digital media guy, even I have to say, that's a little concerning depending on how PlayStation and Studio Canal deal with it. Mm -hmm. If they tell everybody we're either going to A, refund you, or B, we're going to take your rights and move them to another service so you still have access to that content you provide, then everything's good. If they don't, that can be a problem. Anyway, question is for you guys. What do you think about this? PlayStation removing access to some completely legitimately purchased movies? from a certain studio in a couple of certain countries. But still, is that a big deal? Is it not a big deal? Am I making too much of this? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Now guys, you know I love Manscaped. You've heard me go on and on about the Lawnmower 4.0 and mm, that body wash, I love it so much. And so we got to ask, guys, have you started your spring cleaning yet? The carpets need cleaning, the drapes need dusting, and your lawn needs mowing, gentlemen. And you guys know Manscaped is more than just one product. They have a whole lineup of products to help you guys feeling, smelling, and looking your best. And so Manscaped is proud to present to you the Performance Package 4.0, which is the only tool that you need to keep your boys looking, smelling, and feeling good this spring. Now, to start off with, you get the 
Lawnmower 4.0. Guys, we have talked about this. What is wrong with us? Why have we for so long been using these terrible tools that were never meant for cutting our hair down there? The razor clipper things on our electric razors. That's barbaric, guys. You need the Lawnmower 4.0. And then there's the Weed Whacker. You guys have heard our own Ray Aura talk about this thing. He loves using it to get that hair in your nose and the ear hair. And then they offer lots of other stuff like the Crop Preserver. It's an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. The Crop Reviver. It's a spray-on toner for your balls. And of course, they've got the perfect grooming tool for your face with the Plow 2.0, the perfect razor for the finest shave on that face. So guys, get 20% off plus free shipping with the code CAMPIA. That's C-A-M-P-E-A at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the promo code Campia at manscaped.com. It's time to throw out your old hygiene habits and upgrade your life.